A deadly accident on I-75 North tonight. This is 5 on 2. It happened just south of downtown Dayton and has traffic backed up. 2 News reporter Tyler Yutska near the scene for us with an update in top story number one. And hi, Katie. We are on I-75 northbound, just north of the Springboro Pike overpass, where around 3 o'clock this afternoon, an accident occurred involving five vehicles, killing one person. Next to me is Sergeant Jason Newbar with the Moraine Police Department to give us a little bit more information with what happened. And you were telling me earlier that one driver of one of these vehicles fled on foot. Yes, the driver we believe is at fault at this point. Uh, it caused a chain reaction accident that occurred all in the right lane. There were several bystanders and witnesses that stopped to help the passengers of the vehicle and other people injured. And at that point, they pointed out to us the driver of the person at fault in the dump truck had actually fled the scene northbound on 75, had jumped a guardrail, and actually ended up on Sand Ridge uh, Road here in the city of Moraine. And he has been detained. He's in custody? That's correct. How many, what are the other injuries? How many other people were involved? Are they being treated? There were three people transported to, to various hospitals. At this point, I'm unsure of their condition, but they are being treated. The investigation is still very active, of course, right? That's correct. Right now, we have an accident reconstructionist en route to the scene where they will take a formal uh, diagram of the scene, and we're waiting for that to happen and gather more details. Interstate I-75 has been closed for two hours now. It's a busy time of day. Any anticipation of when I-75 northbound could be reopened? I, I imagine it's going to be closed for the several more hours, at least three hours or more. And what is the detour? The detour right now is getting off on Dryden Road to either head southbound or northbound from the interstate. All right, thank you very much, Sergeant. Katie, we're going to send it back to you for now. Tyler Yuska, live in Moraine, 2 News, working for you.